Hello everyone, this is an introduction to discrete mathematics. Please check it out and subscribe my channel. Hello everyone, so we are now in our introduction to discrete MS 101 discrete mathematics. So I'll give you some tips. So why study discrete mathematics? So it develops your mathematical thinking. It improves your problem solving ability. Discrete mathematics is important to survive in other subjects like compiler design, database, computer security, operating system, and many other related subjects to information technology. So what is this discrete math? Discrete mathematics, uh, discrete mathematics is mathematics that deals with the discrete objects. Discrete objects are those which are separated from each other, a whole number. There's no partition. Like an integers, a rational numbers, automobiles, uh, houses, people, and many others are all discrete objects. So what is discrete mathematics? Discrete mathematics is a study of discrete objects. Discrete means distinct or not connected. It is not a branch of mathematics. It's rather description of set of branches that have one common property, that they are discrete and not continuous. So, but discrete versus continuous. The whole world of math divided into two realms, the discrete and continuous. We have example of discrete and continuous. For discrete, we have the height, the cost, the sample of customer, the savings in a month. While continuous, we have the cost, the volume, the height, the temperature, that's continuous. Another example we have the in a clock, digital clock, it's discrete in nature. Why? Uh, in a digital clock we have here, there is no continuous time. We have a transition from one time to another is sharp, like 1030, 1031, and so on. While analog clock, it is continuous in nature. We have the analog clock hour, minute, second hands move smoothly over time. So this is an example of uh, continuous. Other example of discrete and continuous data. Discrete data can only take one certain individual values. Example, number of pages in a textbook. Shoe size is discrete. Number of people in a race is discrete. While continuous, continuous data can take any value in a certain range, like the length of a film, temperature, Time taken to run a race that's continuous. For variables, we have your discrete and continuous variable. Discrete variable characterized by gaps or interruption in a value that is can assume, like the number of daily admission to a general hospital, number of decayed missing or field teeth per child. Then another for continuous, we have this continuous variable can assume any value within a specified relevant interval of value assumed by the variable. Like the height, the weight, the skull is circumference. So no matter how close together the observed height of two people, we can find another person whose height falls somewhere in between. So you can add up or round that off. Okay, so this is all for the introduction. This may help in doing your activity later. Thank you for watching. Please check my other mathematics tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel. It's free.